Hello, so I've been a little busy putting together a little bit of a complex machine. The case of it is right here, it's, it's bright red, you can see. Hello, hello. <laughs> There's more information on this machine to come in the next video, it's not just a see-through red monolith. But when I was putting stuff together this morning, my mind was sort of drifting and I got to think about the safety module that I had been designing last week. It's the next module in the module a month for the Cosmo synth modules. Yeah, I've been putting together, putting out like synth modules and stuff, information's below. But the next one is a safety valve, which is a valve uh, synth module that's based on a 12AX7 valve. It's just a distortion module based on, yeah, this thing. And part of the thing last week was you know how to stop these things from getting broken but at the same time you know not have them hidden behind the module so you can't actually see you know the lovely little glowing cells but it sort of got me thinking what happens when an actual valve breaks what happens at the point where air enters into the valve and the ele electrons get unhappy and stuff what does it sound like now I'm no stranger to broken valves this happened to me a couple of times the first time was I had a DIY valve amplifier that I was playing on stage in an old band and through a sequence of annoying events this homemade valve amplifier that had all the valves exposed on the top fell off and smashed on the floor and a couple of the valves smashed the problem was is the wires got pulled out from the back of it that were going to the speaker cabinet before we could hear what it sounded like when it was breaking we all know what it sounds like when a valve is coming to temperature and a valve is kind of like you know pitter pattering out but what happens when it literally smashes so i've got two of the cheapest 12 ax7s i could find i was questioning about even doing this video because it is a little bit wasteful but i'm very intrigued so i think i can justify you know just two just two go on just two just it'll be okay so this is going to be a very straightforward video right here we have a bass synthesizer it's playing just a sort of standard sounding bass riff right here is a safety valve that i built a couple of years ago for a video on how to build a safety valve module it has a 12 ax7 vacuum tube in it this one has had the same tube in it since i built it, it is this one the electric harmonics 12 ax7 eh yeah what i'm going to do first is put this cheap one that i found on ebay uh, in it and we'll have a listen of what it sounds like when it's warming up and getting to temperature which this 12 ax7 runs very low the recommended temperature so even handling it with your fingers it really doesn't matter because it's, it's like literally holding a glass of mulled wine it's not like gonna burn your fingers and your finger oil isn't gonna burn through the valve anyway let's put it in and see what it sounds like warming up Ugh. let's see wait for it still waiting it's gonna warm up it's coming So that's it acting normally. I can't really show you it cooling down because I'll have to snip a wire around the back, but that is it warming up. So what I've got here is a pair of clippers. What I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna just cut the nip off the top of it and just let the air seep into the top. Uh, it might happen very quickly, it might not happen. I don't really have control over that. So I think we should just see what happens. So place your bets now, what do you think is gonna happen? We've got a sound, now I'm gonna just cut. Oh, it literally turns off. Oh, it's so quick. The action of the air just going straight in, it literally just makes it turn off almost immediately. The thing is, is trying to get a smaller hole. This next one, I'm actually gonna try and melt the nib off with a, uh, you know, a butane cooker. <laughs> this is gonna be really sketchy. I don't know whether I actually broke it or... Oh, I did! 
Wow, that's what it sounded like. There was a tiny little nib, as you can see when I touched it then, the actual front uh, fell off. So the air, when I, the second I put this on, it actually broke the nib and, uh, and put a little bit of air into the tube. If you listened really carefully, when I just moved my finger then, uh, there was a pss That was the last of it so even a little bit of air entering into the valve it really messes up uh, the electrons commute uh, to work so uh, yeah that is a very short video I was just extremely interested to see what happens so let me know if you think there are other experiments that need to be done with valves and such uh, maybe putting them in very cold conditions and stuff like that um, if you think this was a waste I'm very sorry uh, I'm gonna turn these into earrings and also the sounds of all of the valves going up and down and whatnot is available as a direct recorded WAV file over on my Patreon. So if you're interested in having these sounds of a you know a valve warming up and cooling down and whatnot and expelling gases, well definitely go and check it out over there. Anyway, that's a very quick one. I've been looking at my computer uh, and yeah, like this, don't be scared to try it, I guess.